Okay, so in this video, we're going to use the parameterized query to search for the various types of cakes. For example, if I just want to see chocolate cakes, we'll have the user type in the word chocolate, and then we'll filter those records based on the user's input. So before we begin, uh, one thing I want to point out is I've had, when you're filtering records, you're kind of like emptying and refilling the data set at various points, and there's always this moment where there's nothing in the data set. So what I had to do is go into my binding source current changed event. This is where we were doing the picture in the last video. What I've done is I've wrapped this in another layer of protection saying if the binding source current is not equal to null because there, like I said, there's always this moment in your execution where there's nothing in the data set and that is going to, to throw an exception. If there's nothing in there and it tries to access the picture, uh, for a record that is null. So, like I said, I just wrap that in another if statement to give it some uh, added protection there against uh, throwing, a, throwing an exception. So I'm going to go to the front end, and um, I, what I want is a, a search bar up at the top so the user can type in his or her input. And uh, the only way to get that search bar up at the top is to go through the front end here in the component tray I'm clicking on the table adapter and then there's a smart tag and I'm going to add a query. Okay, this is going to be our parameterized query. I think I'll give this a better name. Uh, let me see if I can say cake name. I was fooling around with this before. Okay, we should be okay. Uh, so I clicked on the query builder. This is fairly easy to set up. We want the user to be able to type a cake name. And you know what you can do, this, uh, this alone is going to create a parameterized query, putting a question mark. The question mark is like a placeholder holder for the user's input. And this is fine. There's nothing wrong with this per se, but what's going to happen is the user, if you just do it like this, the user is going to have to type exactly that search term, like German chocolate or death by chocolate. I want to open it up so the user just has to type chocolate, for example. The, none of the cakes in the database are named just chocolate, but I want to you know, be able to keep it vague for the user so he or she can just type some choice words or a, you know, a simple keyword and have, have some results returned. So what I'll do is I'm going to open this up. I'm going to use the word, the keyword like, and then open this up with a couple of wild cards. I'll sandwich that placeholder in a couple of wild cards. The wild card is the percent sign. You have to put, I know this is hard to see, but that's in single quotes. Okay, and then I'm concatenating to that. And you'll see when the SQL is generated. Okay, so we've got a couple of wild cards around our question mark. I click OK. And this is the SQL that's generated. So it's like you're setting up a pattern match the user search term is contained in, you know, uh, in that placeholder question mark, but the wild cards will open it up to uh, and allow the user to type in something a little more vague. So I'm going to click OK. All right, you know what, I was playing around with this before. I, I have to go with cake name one. I already have one named cake name in there. That's fine. Okay, so uh, I think I'll go ahead and test this real quickly, and then we'll play with the search bar. Okay, so I'm going to just type a search term. Okay. I don't know how many records are returned, but you can see just three have to do with chocolate. Okay. So it is working. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is add maybe a clear button so I can get back to all of the cakes, and then maybe we'll alter this, the text on that button as well. Okay, so this is just a button up at the top here and you can change the text just as you would with any button. Okay, so maybe I'll, or maybe I'll type filter by cake or something like that. Okay, that looks better. And I think what I'd like to do is add a, um, like a clear button. So I'm just going to go up here and add the button. And let's see here, I'm going to right click on that button. Maybe I'll do a uh, text button. Let me see, it's okay, here we go. Where it says dis display style, I'll do text instead. You could, you could find a picture and do a, a picture button as well. And um, I think we'll call this 
Um, hmm. Maybe I'll leave that and we'll change that to clear. And then the text will be clear. Okay, and I should be able to double click on that. And really all you have to do is uh, you're going to refill the data set. And we already have the line of code for this. It's actually in our form load. You can copy that. This will just refill the data set with all of the cakes, which is what you want when you're clearing out. Okay. So we'll go ahead and run that. Filter by cake just have the three records there, and then I'm going to clear. Now I'm back to all of the records. 